Two new cards were previewed from Black Rock Mountain. One card I think is really good, and one card I think is really bad. Can you guess which one I think is really good, and which one I think is really bad? Well, let's see. First up is Blackwing Corruptor. 5 mana, 5-4. Five, Most stats, you better have a good ability with it. And if you're holding a dragon, deal 3 damage. That's pretty good. So right now, you find Bomb Lobber being played every once in a while. Um, actually growing more common as control decks attempt to counter aggro decks. And that card's a 5 mana, 3-3. Three, three deal 4 damage randomly. This one, you can hit the face, uh, which you're unlikely to do, but perhaps more importantly, you can hit something for 3 damage. That's super good. So I mean, just compare it to Bomb Lobber, plus 2, plus 1, deal 1 less damage, but it's targeted. And oftentimes when you play Bomb Lobber, yes, you're trying to control the board and usually just tries to aim at one target, but sometimes that doesn't happen and you have to randomize it. That's this is good as is. Um, it possibly even compares well with Fire Elemental. Like Fire Elemental is one more mana and you get plus one plus one. That's not even that big a deal. So insanely good card, a must have in your dragon decks. And yes, you have to have you have to satisfy the requirement of holding a dragon. Given that there's a theme of holding a dragon, that holding a dragon should be something that can be done without too much trouble. Great card in specifically those dragon decks, which by the way, they do need to preview some dragons so I can actually say that these dragon based cards are good, I'm just assuming they're good, on the basis that mech cards, which were good with mech, like happen to work well. It kills the shredders, it survives the sludge vulture trade, those stats, the golden, yes. Okay, so I said one card was really good and one card was really bad. Can you guess what this one is? So, first of all, I will say I like the design. By the way, there's been a kind of theme, Black Rock Mountain, where the cards are not obviously good. You have to fit them into certain things. You have to make them work a bit. They're not just, like, straight-up powerful. Dragon's Breath is an example of a card that isn't straight-up powerful. In fact, it is so hard to get to work that I would argue it's just bad. Compare it to some of the cards Mage has. 4 mana, you get Fireball. 2 mana, you get Frostbolt. So you're trying to get this in order to be good. And by the way, Shadow Bolt is played in Warlock for 3 mana to deal 4 damage to a minion. Um, it's not being played at all. I don't think Mage would play that. Uh, Mage, in fact, has a 2 mana deal 4 damage right now. Flamethrower, which is being used here and there. So, Dragon's Breath needs to kill three guys in order to be playable. Now, it has to be on your turn, so you have to be the one engaging in the trades or clearing the stuff. Uh, some people are suggesting that you do the Flame Strike, and then you toss the Dragon's Breath out to deal with that final guy which somehow survived your Flame Strike. That's not very realistic. Some people are suggesting that you put in your Freeze Mage, you put your Doom Sarah out, you freeze the guys, and then pow. You cleared the board, you cast your 1 mana or 2 mana Dragon's Breath, and you deal 4 damage to the face for 0 mana. That's not too exciting either. Uh, it doesn't even fit the Freeze Mage theme. Rip Mage. It's like, yes, if you trade your card into their card in like a normal play, yeah, that happens all the time, then you can cast the 3 mana 4 damage spell. That's bad still. The way that you need to make this work is so hard that I cannot fathom this being played. Uh, which, by the way kind of brings us back to flame walker flame walker flame waker flame yeah i guess that brings us back to flame waker i had said like okay so if that other card that's released is a good spell then maybe flame waker has a chance in fact you can even see that maybe they planned some synergy here because flame waker likes having really cheap spells being cast so you can see the theory here. You cast your Flame Waker, you do the trades, and then you cast your very cheap Dragon's Breath in theory. But I don't see that ever happening. Blackwing Corruptor is a 5 mana 5-4 five, in Arena, unless dragons are really popular, which I doubt they are, so it's probably bad. Dragon's Breath, you can probably get that to be very commonly 4 mana deal 4 damage in Arena, 3 mana deal 4 damage in Arena, 
probably around an average card. So with that Blackwing Corruptor, I feel like the future is hopeful for those dragon based decks. Dragon deck is probably going to be control, you put your Blackwing Technician in it, you put your Blackwing Corruptor in it, you put maybe another card which has Dragon Synergy in it, and you're good. Look forward to uh, trying out those. Black Rock Mountain, a Hearthstone adventure! <laughs>